Hey everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I'm going to show you something that you'll probably have to do at least a few times a year, and that is changing your own password in Office 365. So I'm here in Outlook, but you can really start anywhere in Office 365 on the web, and you'll go up to your settings gear. Click Office 365 settings. You'll be taken to your own profile page, and you can see here that my own password is expiring in one day, so it's a good thing I'm clicking Change Password now. So you'll be taken here to the Change Password page. You see some tips and requirements for your password. Make sure not to pick any common words, use 8 to 16 characters, and include uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols. So I'll enter my old password and create my new one now and either press enter or click submit. All right, looks like my password change was successful. Now I can tell you a couple things that you might expect. If you enter your old password incorrectly, you'll be taken back to that same password page. If you haven't set up certain required authentication options, for example, verifying an alternate email address or a phone number, you might have to do that at least once while you're going through the password change process. Also, if you went to that Office 365 settings page, tried to change your password, and got a message like, it's not possible for your account, just contact your IT administrator because they have, may have set up some things in your Office 365 tenant a little differently, requiring some extra help from them. So hopefully your password change went as smoothly as mine did, and you're back to being productive in Office 365. For more tips and tricks like this one, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.